In this video, we will demonstrate a migration of FileNet P8 content and content from network drives to SharePoint Online. We will start by showing the source system's FileNet and the file share. We will extract the data, use insights to see how we can analyze our data, and lastly, migrate the data to SharePoint Online based on two business rules. Here you see the XIL IDE, the software we use to perform our migrations. The source system in this demo migration is FileNet P8. All the documents in this demo have been annotated with their destination. An archive site in SharePoint or an active site in SharePoint. During the migration, our migration software makes sure the right documents are transferred to the right destination. We also included two different file shares in this migration to SharePoint Online. All the documents in these file shares have also been tagged with their destination sites, as we did for the FileNet documents. We transfer all content to these empty SharePoint sites, one for the active documents and one for the archive documents. We start the migration by preparing our database to be able to store all the metadata. In addition, we start the export from FileNet and the file shares to our database. After the export, we use Xilio Insights to analyze all the extracted content and metadata. Insights lets you know which content you have, understand your content, and facilitate data-driven decision-making for cleaning and migrating your data. Let's have a closer look at the Xilio Insights. The dashboard gives a general overview of the different repositories, total size, number of documents, number of folders, and an overview of the creation date of documents and cumulative size and totals in graphs. We can drill down to see more insights. For instance, all the different content types in the different source systems. For the migration, we don't want any text files in our SharePoint sites, so they can be excluded from the migration. Let's move on to duplicates. Here are all the duplicates that were found in all the source systems. Cross-checking between sources is possible. You can see the number of duplicates, their total size, and duplicates with the same parent. For the purpose of this demo migration, we excluded duplicates from a file share. Here we show an overview of the number of folders, whether folders have children and most used folder names. The migration dashboard shows all the documents going to the archive site organized by type and all the documents going to the active site organized by type. The pie chart shows the current migration status, which is exported. We start the transformation phase in XIL IDE. All documents will be updated with the applied business rules. Going back to the migration dashboard, we see that both business rules are visible in the lower graph with the number of affected documents. The pie chart now shows a no migration status for the data that we filtered out with our business rules and a ready to migrate status. Finally, we can start importing all our documents and folders into SharePoint Online. After refreshing, we see that both sites are filling up with the content from both FileNet and the file shares. This is, of course, without the text files and the duplicates. During the import, we refresh our migration dashboard regularly, and we see that our pie chart is updating as more documents get the migration status imported into SharePoint Online Active or imported into SharePoint Online Archive.
After the import, we can see that none of the documents have a ready to migrate status anymore, which means they have all been successfully imported into SharePoint. Enjoy your new SharePoint site.